And what we have done as part of that, we actually extended the security capabilities that we had in the traditional networks into what we've built for Internet of Things. And that's what we call net, uh, network as a sensor and network as an enforcer. Because one of the ways for us to address the 80 days that it takes to identify you've been breached and the 123 days that it takes to mitigate against that attack is really be able to identify it much faster. And the network can see if traffic patterns are changing. We can see if they're all of a sudden anomalies. And when we put that in context, and we can realize, huh, Inbar just accessed the network from an iPad in Dubai, and all of a sudden I'm accessing something else from a different network from the US, the network can detect that something is not logical here. That's not my typical traffic pattern, and then I cannot be in two places at the same time. So that's where we can use the network as a sensor to extend our security capabilities, to have eyes into those security breaches, but also be able to mitigate it much faster than 123 days. We can quarantine a device. We can have someone in the, in the security uh, group say, no, that's OK. Actually, someone else is using Inbar's address, and that's OK. So that's how we can have those eyes and ears, if you like, into the IoT system and the IoT infrastructure to be able to start it itself.